Hey guys, my name is Ingus and today I wanted to show you some interesting things I found in old school RuneScape. Maybe you've walked by here to get the black masks or to go to the cave horrors or something. Don't you think it's strange, right? When you right click it, it just says this seems to stand out. Now the weird thing is I have no idea when this was actually added to the game. Like it could have been here since Mostly Harmless was first founded. Okay, so I found this post on Reddit from seven, seven years. Yeah, it seems like no one really knows what this is. <laughs> so author confirmed. Yeah, very strange. Okay, so after doing a little bit of digging, I found this, uh, it's for RS3. So what is Zao Tech? Well, it says here that he is a mysterious entity associated with undead and the oceans. And it has something to do with the pirate quest series in RS3. If you're interested to learn more about this, there's all kinds of history. You don't have to play RS3, you know, <laughs> you could just read about it. Here's why I'm showing you this. Over here, there's a picture of an ancient pillar. Looks pretty familiar, doesn't it? The cave horrors, where do they actually come from? They're not very much tied to lore, uh, at least on the surface. But supposedly this pillar right here, Look, it's the same one. It's in it's in old school RuneScape as well. This pillar is somehow related to to Zao Tak. Now the question is, will this uh, Zao Tak guy get added to old school RuneScape? Who knows? You know, maybe we could be seeing some new pirate quests in the future. I would vote for that. So I had a look around the island, and the only thing I could come up with that was somehow related to that this thing right here. It says there's a very very old picture carved in this, so it's not too descriptive, but it is evidence for a lost cave horror civilization. Now let me take you to a place on the other side of Gilinor. Here the shaman dances and chants next to a flame. And if you stare into that flame long enough, you might just find... Wait, does that say Raid Shadow Legends? Raid is a turn-by-turn -turn strategy game for mobile and PC. If you haven't tried it out yet, then you are missing out, my friend. It is the perfect game to play on the side whenever you do one of those boring skilling grinds. Oh, come on. I got this. Yes, victory. Let me check my fish real quick. All right, let's just open up some shards here. This kind of reminds me of opening packs of Pokemon cards when I was younger. Wait, could it be? Captain Tamilla. Four stars means it's an epic champion. Stats look fairly decent. Probably add her to the party later. Careful boys, this one looks like Zamorak's daughter. She will probably rip your heart out. Within the last couple of weeks, they've added a lot of new updates to the game. First, they've just added champion fragments, which let you collect pieces of champions that you can use to summon specific champions. There's actually a special event running right now to get the amazing Horden. There's also a new bazaar where you can load up on high value items with the gold bars you win in Tag Arena. And they just extended the daily login rewards up to 270 days. There's even free champions available just for logging in. It's been a crazy month for updates, so there's never been a better time to start. Go to the video description, click on the special links, and if you are a new player, you will receive all of this stuff for free. This is probably the best new player package that Raid has offered to date. And if you think that's not enough, you also get a free epic champion, Shaman. All this treasure will be waiting for you right here at the top right of your screen in your inbox. Good luck, and I will see you there. Now for our next stop, we are probably familiar with this place. It's called the Chasm of Fire and you pretty much do a lot of slayer training on these demons here. I don't know about you guys, but I don't really come down here very often. At the bottom of here, uh, while I was investigating Zaya, I found this guy and I'm surprised no one has really talked about him whatsoever. The NPC is called Voice of Yama. This has been in the game for like at least since Chasm of Fire has come out but there's been no updates regarding this guy. He's just been kind of chilling down here. He says his master resides below us. Uh, does this mean a new boss? There's nothing else that we could really discover here unless you could use some sort of item. I'm not sure if there's any other items you could use on him. Wait, can you see under there? This is as low as it goes um, around here. Hmm. Wait. What is that? What does that say? Wait, does that just say f I can't really see it. Fire. Okay, why is that hiding underneath? Wait, does it say chasm of fire underneath here or something? Let me, if I could, what does it say? Oh, oh, there's more. Okay, so I think, 
Okay, so I think it just says chasm, chasm of fire, but that's, does that mean they added like another floor below here? So there is another boss planned, but this has been in the game for three years. I wonder why they haven't worked on it. I really wonder. I would love to see more of this stuff in the game. Do you think it's going to be a new skilling boss? Maybe a slayer boss or something? Like I said, I don't know if there's any other mentions of Yama in the game so far. So it's almost like Jagex just kind of forgot about this guy. Now I've traveled to the myth skill. Maybe you've talked to this NPC before, but I'm not sure if everyone knows about this. If you get this book, in Kandoria's fall from the library up here and bring it to her. Uh, she has some extra dialogue. See like right here, I have a book or two detailing such things but seems to have gone walkabouts. If you right click use, oh there we go, now we're getting somewhere. I love finding secret stuff like this on RuneScape. So apparently this isn't even like the original text, she copied it from somewhere like a tome or, or something like that, uh, that that's, that's what I'm getting. It's a translation so it may not be 100% accurate. So Imkandoria, do you think that's where the Imkando dwarves originate? It certainly seems reasonable. I'm not done here completely but now I'm curious. This might seem like a wild goose chase, but just bear with me. We're gonna get to the bottom of this. Okay, so I am now south of Mudskipper Point. You probably know where this is. This is the guy who gives you the smithing cape. If you talk to him normally, uh, you can just talk about like the blue right sword or the smithing cape, but what happens if we use this book on him? Oh my god. Okay, this is, this is exciting. There's actually some more dialogue. I didn't even know about this. Has, has anyone tried this before? Okay, hmm. Who wrote this text? It seems new. Never mind. If you ever plan on going back to this island, I'll happily come along. Is he angry? <laughs> I can't tell if this is just what Imkando dwarves are like in general. Wait, 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 wait. Is this a new quest? I think I just discovered a future quest. Okay, I didn't think much of it at first, but now I'm gonna have to show you the book. So this story takes place on the Isle of Garmur which is north, very north, like above Lunar Isle North. It's not on the map yet though. Strange idol with odd markings. Hmm, very suspect. So they threw it away, went down to the lower necropolis, so like their cemetery. And there's also these giants too that I haven't heard mentioned any be anywhere before. Supposedly there were Ospa tribes around Imkandoria and we can get into that later. Now this uh, this entry right here gets pretty weird. What, what's interesting is that there's the Isle of Garmer, but there's also Imkandoria and they seem to be two separate places. Yeah, some sort of ritual. I'll let you read that. So for now, let's head back to the Myths Guild. You can get this book from up this ladder over here. Yeah, right at the top of here, you can search the bookshelf and that's how you get the fall of M. Camdoria. So another thing, when you talk to Freya, you select the third option, why are you here? She mentions a place called Asheron. And as far as I know, there's very few references to this place in RuneScape. Could there be some new sort of quest that takes place in the north? Maybe Freya recruits Thurgo and then we all go rescue their homeland? I don't know. You know, it really makes you wonder when any of this stuff is actually gonna come out. I mean, <laughs> I know Jagex is trying their best, but yeah, Priftinus and Darkmare are great. Those places didn't feel that exciting for me because I kind of already experienced them back in uh, the other RuneScape. I want something fresh, something new. I like these uh, the new areas to explore. Just think about the potential of this place, like Asheron or Imkandoria. Like, what are we gonna get? New bosses? new skilling. So if you search Asheron on Google, then this is what you get, Asheron Mammoths. They're an RS3, but you cannot actually go to Asheron. They're like on an iceberg or something that got cut off from the island. So on the RS3 wiki page, it says that the Rune Essence Mine is actually located on Asheron. Not sure if this applies to old school RuneScape. Yeah, I don't see anything, but the games are pretty similar, so I'm assuming that they kept these the same? Okay, so now I'm wondering if there's any other easter eggs that are potentially related to Asheron that we just haven't found yet. I'll, I'll see what I can find. Oh, here we go, guys. Okay, okay. So uh, if you go through this dialogue, actually, let me just show you how to get to it. So first ask about anything else. History of your people right here. Then you get to this spot. Then you can say, tell me of the lands to the north. And then, oh. Oh, here we go. 
Beyond Lunar Isle, there is a large frozen wasteland we call Asheron. It is an inhospitable land and you will need an agile and sturdy body just to keep alive in its perils. Seems like that's all he's gonna tell us. I'm actually really curious, what if someone working at Jagex snuck in a secret easter egg that no one has discovered yet, like over in the hunter area or maybe like the penguin location. Just imagine you're the first person to find something like this and it's been in the game for maybe months, maybe years? Wait a second, what? Oh, it's the eagle. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wait, why are there two caves? That one's for the eagle, okay. Okay, so I am pretty much as far north as you can get and I don't see anything. Yeah, it looks like this is as far as you can go north. Okay, so I've been <laughs> at this for her like a couple hours. Don't don't mind me, but uh, I found another mention of Asheron. See, if you talk to this guy, you get random dialogue. And one of the chances of those dialogues is, is it cold up here? And he says, you think this is cold? Up by Asheron, it gets so cold that when you talk, you see the words freeze in the air in front of you. So it's very cold. And I've tried using the book on him and Nothing happens. I don't know if there are any other mentions of Asheron or how to get there maybe, but if you guys have any ideas or clues, uh, please let me know. I'd love to uh, keep this investigation going. Okay, and it seems like I'm not the only one to talk about this. At least uh, six months ago, there was a Reddit post that I found of someone asking about this, but yeah, it seems like that's all we really know. I almost forgot to mention this guy right here. He, we are back at the library of the Myths Guild. He's sitting in a rocking chair on the second floor. If you find any books with my symbol on them, be sure to bring it to me. I'll be sure to reward you. Check out the fountain in the dungeon below. I based it on the artifact that powers it. Okay, here we go. So as far as I know, I don't think there are any books with this symbol or at least based on this symbol. I can't really think of any. Actually, I scoured the whole wiki of books and I, I actually couldn't find anything with this symbol whatsoever. So yeah, I don't know. You know, maybe we can get some confirmation from a Jagex moderator or something. Has anyone found this old man's book? <laughs> oh my God, guys, you are not gonna believe this.